Um, first thing we're going to do is just show uh, some of the basics, how to treat the shoulder, how to treat the neck, but we also want to make sure you get your device set up properly. So we're just going to go through the settings really quick just to show you um, sort of some troubleshooting just to make sure you're getting the right results and everything you should be seeing. So first is the frequency and that's the most important up top. So you'll see we have 0 0.5 hertz uh, chosen. You can actually change that to 1.5 and to 100 hertz. Um, and as we say, 99% of the time you'll be on 0 0.5 hertz. That's where we want to start when we use the probes or when we use CES. So 0 0.5 is where you'll be set up. We do have our timer over to the probe timer. That's a 10 second timer. So as soon as you touch the probes to the skin and you connect the circuit, you'll hear it beep. It'll start to count down. That'll give you 10 seconds. It'll beep again when it's finished. That's the indicator to move it to the next location. Each place we put the probes is going to be there for 10 seconds and then you move it to the next spot. In total, our protocols last from about two to five minutes, depending on the person's pain, where it's at, if we need to treat a little further, um, if they have some residual pain, there's some things we can do, some tricks. But all in all, it's about two to five minutes. You can see 10 second timer. Underneath that is our intensity. So we have this device set to the maximum, which is 600 microamps. Most places on the body, when you treat with the probes, that's subsensory. They don't feel really anything. As you do get closer to the neck and the shoulder, or as you get closer to the midline and to the brain especially, you can get some vertigo. So as we treat Rachel, we'll ask if she has any vertigo, gets any dizziness, we can always turn that down some. Okay. So those are our settings. The other really important thing that we want to make sure we do is to wet the probes well with the alpha stem conducting solution. So we do put a few drops on there just to make sure we have good conduction. So Rachel's our patient today. Rachel, if you want to stand up, we'll go ahead and we're going to show some shoulder protocol. So we're going to pretend that Rachel's got pain in her right shoulder first here. So the first step of our protocol is a large X. So we just go posterior to anterior and you heard it beep. So we'll watch that'll count down for 10 seconds and then I'll beep again when we finish. So just to complete our X now we're anterior and posterior on the arm. So this is a big X encompassing um, the forearm, even up to the, the neck and the shoulder. So we're covering everything. Step two, Step two is going to be a small star, so we're moving closer to where her pain is, and all we're doing is directing the current through her pain. So you can see uh, what plane we're in here, we're anterior, posterior. It doesn't really matter where you put the probe as long as you're connecting point A to point B and your current's traveling through your pain. So now we're just going to move around here at different angles. We're going right through the joint, and you can see 10 seconds at a time, so it's very quick. It moves quickly, so you can kind of think about where you're going next. So just a few angles, do you feel anything, Rachel, as we're doing this? Right. No, I think I'm okay. So subsensory, you really don't feel much as you treat. Current's passing through every now and then. If you're right on a nerve that may be involved with the pain, they may get a little prickly sensation. Um, but for the most part, as you're, as you're treating extremities, the patient really won't experience much. So that's our small start. Step three is the X on the opposite side. So we're just gonna do a quick 20 seconds on her left shoulder also. The current does relax muscles, um, and you do want to relax muscles on both sides symmetrically. So if we're treating especially an ankle or a, a knee, you want to make sure you relax those accessory muscles on the opposite side. So we just do a quick 20 seconds. And the last step will be connecting the two sides. So I'm connecting the two sides, there's a couple ways to do that. One easy way, because we have skin axis here, is just to go laterally right across. So we're just going to walk right up her shoulder. 10 seconds. Now the current in this case is going to cross the spine, which is the real important step there. And any step or any protocol that we have, we want to go across the spine, bring the central nervous system. We'll treat peripherally, even if it's an ankle or a foot, we're going to treat that foot, but then we want to go from foot to foot across the spine to make sure we bring in those nerves as well. So last step here, connecting the two sides. Okay, so that's our two minute protocol. Now what we would have Rachel do, we would ask her what her pain was zero to 10 when we started. Let's just say hypothetically it was a seven. We do that two minute protocol and now we have her down to maybe a three. Okay, so she's feeling better. Um, always check range of motion, obviously with a joint like that, maybe she has more range of motion. But the next thing we would do, if she still has residual pain, like we said, maybe she still has a three or four, I'd have her point to the worst area of pain. So if she pointed to one spot and this is really where her pain's radiating from, we would put one probe right there and that one's going to remain stationary. 
and then we would move the other one around 10 seconds at a time. I'm just going to go quickly here just to kind of show you, but 10 seconds at a time, just so we're going right through that worst spot of pain. And just focusing on that one location just allows the current to radiate through that at different angles as we treat. So you do that for about six locations, which is another minute, and you've done for about, you've done now about three minutes of treatment on that right shoulder. So very quick. Um, by that point, usually they're down to a zero, one, two in that range. We would use the ear clips with Rachel after that. That would help her. Now we've got the peripheral, the spine, and the brain into it. So you've got all three uh, components there of your nervous system. So it's a really quick and easy way just to treat the shoulder. So the other one we get asked a lot about is how to treat neck pain, cervical pain. So we're just going to show you briefly again um, with the same basic protocols. When we treat neck pain, we do a little bit different because we also treat across the shoulders. People have headaches, they have neck tension, and all that starts with the musculature. So we want to treat right across um, her chromium process here and across the trapezius muscles. So we just do 10 seconds. We're going in a little bit closer, so we want to get the traps involved here. So we'll go right across her trapezius muscles. 10 seconds. And just because of the location of where we're treating, we're actually going across our midline. So that step is kind of already involved. We're going to be treating right across the neck. So we'll just do a couple X's right here through the neck. Now we didn't ask Rachel where her hypothetical pain was, but we're just saying it's a cervical pain. So we're just treating the entire neck in this case. So we make another X there. And then we're going to walk that up her neck. So 10 seconds and we'll just walk up and you can see I'm sort of in the midline of her neck. If you're around the back, your current is going to stay on the surface there and you're not going to actually penetrate and get through the muscles. So we want to make sure we're kind of in the midline there as we treat up her neck. And that'll be 10 seconds at a time. So we would just walk it right up there all the way up beneath the cranium. So we'll just treat all of that, that line, a couple of X's, Another good one is go all the way from the shoulder to the neck, and you can see the path there that our current's taking. So it's going all the way through the trap, through those neck muscles. So we do 10 seconds there, and 10 seconds there. So that gives you guys, again, a good example of just the basic protocol. If she still said, you know, I can really feel some pain on this right side, wherever she points to again, I would just put one probe there, leave it, and then walk the other probe around 10 seconds at a time, and go all the way across her neck and let that current travel right through that worst spot of pain. Okay. So that's our shoulder, our neck protocols. Again, once we got done with that, ask how they're doing, have them move around, check the range of motion, reevaluate their pain on a scale of zero to 10. It's just a really quick and easy way for us to track that improvement as we treat, because the treatment is so quick. Um, and then we'd have Rachel put on the ear clips and do 20 minutes of CES, and that would top her off if she's got any trouble sleeping or she's depressed because she has chronic pain, CES can help with that. So that's a good combination to add to their, our pain protocols. All right, guys, we appreciate you logging in and joining us today. Um, if you have any questions, always email, call, and we'll try to help you out the best we can. Thank you.